What is up, Bad Mood Cuser here. So this video has been uh, delayed for more than I planned on, but I started working again uh, Monday and my legs are absolutely killing me. I can barely stand up. But it is finally time for Summon Raiding Spirits Minion Instability Diary Part 2. Uh, and I have to warn you, this video might be longer than the previous, but I promise I will try to get better with timestamps. So, we are now CI, and we are Max Block, and I have absolutely no idea where to start, so I suppose we'll just start with uh, comparing the two straight up. I've done and attempted all content with both, except Uber Siri, because uh, I'm just straight up gonna assume that Split Phase will kill off all of my Spectres. The only thing I couldn't do life-based was the Simulacrum. Wave 19 and 20 were more or less straight up impossible. Meanwhile, CI Max Block, I managed to die only once on wave 20, and I even completely forgot to summon my Guardian the entire map. Life based definitely has more damage, since we can dual wield a plus 2 minion wand, pushing our SRS to level 33. Having said that, dropping a plus 2 for a shield isn't actually that much worse. As CI, we get a bigger life pool, although not that much bigger, I suppose. Uh, life based, I had. 5k life with 2k mana, so basically 7k EHP. Uh, as CI, not min maxing entirely, I only managed uh, 8.5k ES. Uh, hitting 9k is gonna get pretty expensive. However, being max block, our survivability skyrockets and I can jump into big packs like a moron without having to really worry about anything. Another benefit swapping to CI from Mind of a Matter is that we can now fit in more auras, although arguably not quite that many more. As life based, we could use uh, an Essence Worm to slot in Skitterbots and still run Clarity, unless we solve our mana region elsewhere. I ran with uh, Discipline plus Haste for a bit, however, the extra cast speed from Haste, along with Arena Master Spectre, I hit the cap of uh, 20 SRS constantly which stops my SRS from exploding, so I dropped haste and uh, slotted in skitterbots instead. This is, however, only a problem against single bosses and not mapping itself, and haste will feel so much better with the extra movement speed for both you and your minions. But with haste, you constantly have to look up in the left corner to check if you hit the cap or not. I have dropped Clarity completely because I don't really need it, unless I sit still and repeatedly cast SRS for a long period of time, and the playstyle for the majority is to cast SRS, strafe, cast SRS, strafe, and repeat. I'm not really sure if there is a clear winner here, but life-based we can min-max the damage, and life-based is a whole lot cheaper and easier to gear for. Also, as CI, I seriously can't even fit in the Fortress Coven duel. And as CI, we need a plus 2 wand to hit level 25 on our specters to get one extra. So before we move on, I'd like to touch a little on Guardians, Uber Elder and Cyrus. The only Shaper Guardian I ever really had problems with was uh, Minotaur, because I can't face tank him life-based, and well, I mean not max block either, actually. So I will have to kite him uh, every time he burrows, which is only ever a problem when he's off screen and you can't see the burrow until he one-shots you. As for Elder Guardians, uh, Eradicator, Lightning Guy, was dumb difficult to survive life base because his damage is dumb retarded. Uh, no problems as Max Block though. Purifier could be a bit sketch, but no real issues. Enslaver was a huge problem, but only because I never ever really carry a dousing flask, so that's that one's on me. Uber Elder on both was fairly easy, a uh, bit more difficult life base maybe. As for Cyrus, I could not one skill him deathless life based, but the entire fight is dumb, random, and unfair. Uh, I've only done Cyrus a total of, I think, maybe five times as CI max block, and I've died maybe a total of two times. I'm pretty much done with the character, but would like to keep it as a bosser, and have been considering going back life base so I can get those two extra gem levels, but Cyrus is just so much easier max block. 
All right, let's move on to the gear. So there's actually a lot to talk about here. And while I usually do the gems and gear simultaneously, there's a bit to talk about the gems as well. So one thing at a time. And before we do anything, uh, I know some people like to ask about this. So my MTX here is Seraph Dagger, uh, Sunspire set with Sunstone weapon effect and Radiant Shield. So overall, it's basically just energy shield and resist on all pieces, but we need 117 dexterity for, in order to use Sintrek, and 155 dexterity if we want to run haste. Uh, my gear is, uh, my gear was optimized for running haste, but in the end, uh, I ended up favoring skitterbots. Uh, we also need 111 strengths. Mostly for melee fizz. Uh, if we want to run awakened melee fizz, we're gonna need the 126 ish, maybe a tiny bit more, uh, which I'm not using by the way. So um, I have an annoying uh, arena master in the background, uh, stomping his feet. So I have a plus two multi modded wand with trigger socket spells and minion life. Uh, the trigger socket of spells is very important. I have made a video in the past showing you how to craft your own plus two minion wand and for the sake of whoring uh, views, uh, there will be a link down in the description below. Uh, the helmet is one of the most important pieces for our damage and we're looking for a plus three to minion, uh, immolate and minion life. Uh, I have been trying to craft a hubris for these exact stats in hope of hitting more energy shield, but so far I haven't been able to hit uh, energy shield along with an open suffix. I have however found a relatively uh, reliable way of crafting this type of helmet using fossils. Uh, so at first I was going to use a, a prime resonator uh, and that was going to be like really expensive. Uh, so if I, ha I mean I have the money. Uh, but using a three socket powerful resonator seemed you know as good so first of all we need an item level 86 elder influence helmet we need an 86 for uh, rolling the plus three dominion and we need a elder helmet to be able to roll the minion uh, minion life and emulate uh, so i used a shuddering fossil to block the mana rolls I then used a bound fossil to increase my chances of rolling uh, plus three minions and, you know, well, basically just that, I guess, uh, and minion life, obviously. And then I used Scorched to increase my chances of hitting Immolate. Uh, I was kind of surprised at how often I would hit this combination. Uh, sadly, uh, I never really hit plus three that often. I would hit plus one or plus two. Uh, and I will, would also hit uh, burning damage uh, far more often than immolate. Uh, it's tricky because uh, there's not a whole lot of blockers we can use. Uh, I was planning on trying to craft a helmet with the SRS enchant, but because of haste aura and even... Um, just only with Arena Master, I'm getting far too many SR SRS out, so the enchant might potentially be very bad. Uh, we're still using uh, Tabakai. It is basically the key item for this build, although you could maybe use Infernal Legion support instead, and then a proper amulet, although I don't think Immolate works with that, because I don't think Infernal Legion counts as them burning. So you would probably have to go with um, uh, minion damage over immolate instead. Uh, I have a deflection allocated for two reasons. One is to cap my block, and apparently I can't block projectile, attack, or spell uh, without deflection. Uh, I ran a few maps without deflection, and I would get chunked every goddamn time, and allocated deflection, and all of a sudden, I'm fine. So, yeah, I guess either it's bugged or I just proved something. Um, I know someone asked earlier if you, if you can, if you cannot block pro, uh, projectiles if you don't have deflection, and I want to say no, no, you can't. 
Uh, our shield is a shaper shield. Uh, the important mod here is uh, recover um, X percent of energy shield when you block. And I will say I absolutely regret rolling this shield on a fossilized. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to hit such a beast like I did here. And I even exalted the cold rest, by the way. Uh, my rings are both onset rings. So the biggest downside going CI is we can't really fit every gem we want. And since I don't needed any stats, I went ahead and uh, tried to find percent energy shield on both of the rings. Uh, so this one cost me 50 chaos and this one cost me six, six exalts because the percent here is a crusader mod and not uh, incursion. Uh, chess piece with uh, dense fossil spam. Uh, I could divine it a tiny bit better. Um, I mean, we can get 10% uh, more energy shield. And I guess that's kind of it. So, I mean, we can get a wee, wee bit more energy shield, but I mean, 600 is fine. Uh, the gloves, uh, I just about tried anything on. I tried like every essence I had, um, specifically dexterity, and then I tried uh, the ones with strength, and then I tried just everything with, that had a resist. Uh, I tried wool, um, I tried fossils, I tried alt regal spamming. Uh, I actually hit some pretty godly uh, with alt regal spamming, uh, but that, you know, whatever. So eventually I managed to hit these with Chaos Spam because uh, I thought uh, I needed like a massive amount of dexterity. So, you know, when I hit these, sadly I did hit uh, attack speed, which is useless for me. And the attack speed blocks a second resist. So, you know, but they're pretty damn good still. Uh, my belt is taken from my Essence Train character. Uh, I mostly just took it uh, snatch it already because it, it, it already had the strength roll on it and I needed a big chunk of strength and I wasn't really sure how I was gonna fit it in so since I already had this crafted you know let's just move it over move it over so originally I was gonna try and craft uh, a percent energy shield belt uh, I don't know if it's like the percent energy shield from is it elder or is it like something redeemer like um along with percent from body armor but i don't know if they stack which doesn't really matter because i would still choose the um i suppose percent overall energy shield increase however uh the base would cost me several exalts and it would cost me i guess an average of two exalts buying the uh whatever orb that I needed, and then I probably needed to spend a bunch of exalts hitting, you know, what I needed to hit. So this belt saved me money. <laughs> and we're rocking Sintrek as usual because they're dirt cheap. They've got dexterity that I thought I needed. I mean, currently I am running haste, but for the most part I have been running with Skitterbots instead. Uh, they also, yeah, they have like, I would say a decent chunk of energy shield. Um, if you uh, if you use Haku, you can get them even more closer to 200, and we get 30% movement speed. You know they're all good. They don't have resist, but they're all good. Now I suppose we'll jump over to the gems then. Uh, so we're still rocking the same setup in our wand. We got Desecrate for uh, our offering. Uh, we have Flesh Offering, and we have Stormbrand for Elemental Overload. Uh, no, no, goddamn it, um, Elemental uh, Equilibrium. I'm sorry. Elemental Equilibrium. Uh, the Flesh Offering I use mainly for mapping, and then I use Bone Offering instead uh, for stuff like Cyrus. Uh, basically only Cyrus, like even on Uber Elder I didn't bother with Bone Offering, and Guardians, you know, you don't really, I don't know. Basically only need it on Cyrus to feel a bit more safer. Basically don't even need Bone Offering at all on Cyrus, maybe. We have the same setup in our helmet. We got SRS with uh, level four and power. Uh, Awakened Unleash. You don't actually need Awakened Unleash. Um, and Combustion. Uh, now, 
I also have Awakened Melee Splash here, but only because it dropped. And I mean, a level 5 costs like 100 chaos. It's dirt cheap. But what I want to touch on is whilst mapping, Melee Splash is just so much better than Empower. Empower is the obvious choice for bossing, but um, SRS AI is... How do we put this? absolutely fucking retarded. So basically the way uh, the SRS AI works is uh, one SRS flies towards a mob, starts attacking it, the second SRS comes towards that mob and goes oh you're taken, I'm gonna go find my own mob. And then the third one comes, oh shit these two, are, these two mobs are taken, I'm gonna go on my own mob. So because of this uh, every SRS picks up their own mob. Now now all of them are fighting each other individually, right? So it's gonna take them a lot longer to take damage because they're, they're fighting one-on-one -on -one basically and it's gonna take them longer to explode. So with melee splash, not only do SRS do a, a decent amount of damage before exploding, just straight up attacking, uh, with melee splash they're gonna hit multiple mobs at the same time and by doing so, they are going to attract multiple mobs on top of themselves. So, open open maps like, uh, well, take Beach for instance. Open maps like Beach, you definitely want to run with Melee Splash. But maps like, uh, you know, Phantasmagoria, uh, Empower works pretty well because it's very narrow. So, it's like whatever. But yeah, um, SRS AI retarded. Melee Splash, good. So in our shield, we have Discipline with Enlighten and Haste. Um, otherwise, you can do uh, you can do Skitterbot instead of Haste, and with that, you don't even need uh, Enlighten. So you can actually fit in a portal. Like currently, I don't actually have room for a portal. Um, so like the difference here, like I have four hundred seventy-five mana. Whoops, that's not what I meant to take out. <laughs> Uh, and now we're down to 274. So, you know, you can see my mana moving here. The Enlightened does help a lot. You don't really need a level 4, I don't think. I think level 3 is probably like more than good enough. Um, but something to keep in mind is also the mana cost for Ray Zombie. So, uh, without Enlightened, um, I can basically only do one zombie at a time, and then have to regen everything. Uh, in our onset rings, we got Flame Dash and Convocation, because those two don't need to be linked, and, you know, we don't really have slots for anything. Uh, our chest piece, we got Ray Zombie, with minion damage, multi-strike, elemental army, feeding frenzy, and melee fist. So in our gloves is where we have our specters, uh, and with, you know, plus two, specters get to level 25, which means I get to have four specters. So there we have Elemental Army, Minion Life, and Feeding Frenzy. So the uh, specters I have chosen are um, Arena Master. I believe he is Warlord influenced. I could be wrong. Uh, he some of the times gives a haste buff where you move, attack, and cast faster. I also have two Carnage uh, Chieftain, the this little apes here. The so Carnage Chief Carnage Chieftain gives frenzy charges. And then I have one host chieftain which gives power charges. And for our boots we have Animate Guardian with Meat Shield, Minion Life, and my self cast flammability. So my uh, so my Guardian setup is Kingmaker which uh, gives uh, me and my minions fortify. It also gives uh, crit multi. Uh, it also ha gives me uh, well, it gives it well me and my minions calling strike, which is really really nice. I then have a Gruskul's pelt. Um, the majority s seems to be running with Ambu's charge, which I was at first, but um, so so what the chest piece does is when the guardian gets hit. 
he gets a uh, he gets an endurance charge and he shares endurance charges. The problem is my guardian never really seems to get hit, so I never get the endurance charges. So I figured I'd just I'll go with Gruskul Spelt instead because it's got uh, well it's got more life regen. I don't actually know the the flat life doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, from what I understand, you want percent life and not flat life on your guardian, but either way, this uh, has far more life regen, so it's better than Ambu. We also use Leer Cast. Um, you and your nearby allies gain increased damage, and I also use Victorious Flight, which gives additional movement speed, and then we have Southbound, which basically just gives percent life. So, onwards to the tree. Uh, the tree is literally the same. Uh, I haven't changed anything. I mean, the tree is not the same, but the, the ascendancy is the same. Uh, we have not touched the ascendancy at all. Uh, so we got deflection, as mentioned, which gives us 4% chance to block spell uh, and attack. We also get 40% increased defenses from our equipped shield, which means 40% increased energy shield from our shield. And we also get a ch uh, chance to block projectile attack. Uh, we are CI, as mentioned. Uh, we're picking, picking up block wherever we can. I did pick up uh, Arcane Swiftness at first, but it turns out I didn't actually need that much uh, attack block. Uh, we pick up Arcane Guardling, which has a lot of spell damage, but mostly we want the increased energy shield from equipped shield and the uh, block spell damage. So this is actually 100% increased bonus from, uh, from our shield. And then we have her, some minion stuff here, energy shield mana, uh, usual stuff down here. Sell so, so, yeah, usual stuff, you know. Uh, I ended up going with uh, Lethal Pride, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm having the wrong approach to max block here using Lethal Pride on this guy, but uh, I just don't know if it's actually worth it. Cause the thing about Lethal Pride and Energy Shield Recovered on block is that it's not as effective when you don't have evasion and or dodge. Basically, because I don't have evasion or dodge, when I get hit... Because let's say I get hit for like a thousand, um, and I block that attack, that means I'm gonna... Uh, regenerate uh, or recover uh, or roughly 350 energy shield which means I'm still getting hit for like 650 so if I'm repeatedly attacked for you know a thousand I'm you know I'm not gonna get more life back or energy shield back sorry I'm not gonna get more energy shield back than what I'm being blocked for so I think uh, Lethal Pride was a, a bad approach. So if we take a look uh, of the values with Lethal Pride in action. Um, actually, uh, without, so without Lethal Pride, I'm at 38 and 27. We'll, we'll ignore the block projectile. So 38 attack, 27 uh, spell. Uh, pop my roomies, we go up to 57 and 37. Uh, now, if I pop also my offering, I don't know if it did go off, we're at 75 and 64. This is without the Lethal Pride. So, with Lethal Pride, no offering, well, the offering's still up, apparently. I think, isn't it? Uh, no offering, just flask, 75, 74. With offering, no flasks, 75, 75. So, if I could just find a way to get more spell block, um, it would make sense to completely drop Lethal Pride, because I think Lethal Pride is actually doing me more damage than it's actually helping. So... Yeah, I just don't know if Lethal Pride is a good idea or not. Um, it just doesn't feel good, but it's like so easy to cap yourself with it, so... 
All right, let's have a look at my cluster jewels, though. Uh, so at first, I was using this large, which gives me Call to Slaughter and Feasting Fiends, which gives me um, minion damage, but uh, most importantly, 30% increased movement speed for minions created recently, and that applies specifically and only to my SRS. Uh, and Feasting F Fiends also gives uh, increased maximum life, which is very important because that's how we scale our damage. But, um, Feasting Fiend, you know, it's not like a super impressive node. Call to Slaughter, more of a quality of life type of thing. So I get rid of it, hoping that I could save points somehow. Uh, I also want to say that, like, the majority of the minion nodes on Cluster, they're all about survivability, which, ironically, is what we don't want on this build, because it's all... Chaos res or life region shit like that um, And those are the two things we absolutely do not want with SRS minion instability uh, I was also a little tiny bit worried about the minion leech uh, if that was gonna affect my SRS uh, Surviving for much longer, but it doesn't really seem to do anything to them actually, which is good, I guess Uh my dream large jewel, though, would be Call to Slaughter and Vicious Bite. Because Vicious Bite gives my zombies, specifically only my zombies, crit and crit multi. Which I thought would be very fitting, because, since I'm running uh, Spectres that gives power charges. But um, I would also need um, a jewel socket for that. Uh, and I can't remember if Vicious Bite is on medium or large, but it doesn't really matter because I need a Jewel Socket anyway. And Jewel Socket is a suffix, Vicious Bite is a suffix, and Call to the Slaughter is a suffix. And apparently you cannot have three suffixes on a Jewel. Um, so yeah. There's like literally no way of getting that combination unless you find it on a Megalomaniac and... I've seen only two out for sale, one for like 10x and one for like 50x, and I am not spending 10x on a jewel that may, you know, might be really good for me. So, uh, I took out the large and I put one medium over here and one medium over here, uh, managed to save some point that way. Uh, so over here we have Feasting Fiends again, uh, and Hulking Corpses, which has minion life, that's basically it. We also have Chance to Taunt, that's not bad. And then we have one with the shield. Now, originally I was going to go from energy from not, which gives me a flat 100% energy shield. Not percent, I'm sorry, a flat 100 energy shield. Um, this one, however, two of these, which I have, it gives me 10% chance to block attack damage while holding a shield. But it also gives me 50% 50, 50 increased defenses from equipped shield, which means technically I get more energy shield from one with a shield than energy from not. Uh, but technically I suppose not, because the 100 flat, well 200 flat in this case, would, you know, be from all of my modifiers, while this is just only from the shield. But it is not bad either way. And on this side, I did not go for Feasting Fiends again, because I was, in fact, worried about the leech. But I do have two Hulking Corpses and one with the shield. Now, the only really important clusters here are one with the shield. Um, there aren't actually any really... There really aren't any clusters that are amazeballs for this build. But yeah, so with the removal of the large, I saved some points, I was able to get Essence Surge, which by the way, doesn't impress me. Um, I am just absolutely not feeling the fastest start of the recharge. So to sum up, Cluster Duels, I have no fucking idea. Alright, moving on. So as for duels in general... I've gone for Dexterity, Flat Energy Shield, and Minion Life. Uh, dexterity because I needed to stack Dexterity for uh, Haste, which I may or may not actually use, I don't know, but yeah, that's basically what I've done. Uh, 
I do have one hinder, uh, which doesn't really do a whole lot, I suppose. But basically, stats I need, percent flat energy shield where I can, and then minion life, minion damage. Uh, preferably minion life, minion damage combo is the jewels you would be looking for. And as you can see, I have no room for... Where are you? Fortress Covenant. Uh, can't put it here, because that's where my Lethal Pride is, and even if I put it there, I would lose Energy Shield. Um, can't really put it here, because then I lose a uh, Spell Block and my Mana Region for my block. Can't really put it here, because then I only get the 20% here and nowhere else. So, uh, I could, you know, spec out of this and grab Quick Recover instead. Uh, that way I would get a few more few more notes over there. Over here I can't really do anything either because I need all res and I need energy shield and well yeah basically so and I definitely can't put it here because first of all here's my cluster and second of all it's gonna go over here and I really 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 want that extra specter. So here is the only place that makes sense. Uh, now the problem is still that I don't know if the damn duel is worth it. Like, it's definitely more damage with it. But, uh, zombies just dies way, way too often with this on. Uh, but the main reason I want to use it is because once this little hammer boy here in the background and with Haystor are running, uh, Let's see if we can actually do it now. I will hit the cap of 20. Eventually. See? Hitting 20. And this is what out of all haste and shit, you know? As soon as the arena master starts hammering... And... It's far more noticeable... Like in maps, but... With the Fortress Covenant... I should definitely not be able to hit the cap. Oh yeah, one last thing. I do not have a Corrupting Blood Duel, which is basically the only thing you only really need it for Cyrus, but I mean, I do have Bone Armor. Uh, I'm just really, really bad at using it. So if I, you know, so I, all I have to do is, oh, I suspect a laser is coming. Boom. Bone Armor for five seconds. And, you know, I can use it pretty, pretty frequently, so technically I don't need it, but yeah, if you don't pay attention, you're fucked. So, uh, we are basically done, finally. Except, lastly, I want to talk about the light version again. Um, I absolutely forgot to create a passive building for it right before I respect to CI, and I even managed to s sell off the majority of my gear. Uh, before I realized So what I will do is I will show you uh, My finalized tree in the in the offline skill tree and Then uh, like if you actually want to like uh, But then I will post the old uh, Passive building for the live version down in the description below as well uh, the gear and set up like everything is basically exactly the same for the life race version. All I did was basically upgrade my two wands. Uh, I do have my second wand somewhere in my shop. Um, they haven't sold. I'm pretty sure the prices are outdated. Uh, might be... Well, it, yeah, this was my main one first. And then I multi-modded this one because I needed the... Um, uh, spell trigger, and then I also have this, uh, which has minion life on, so it's like a little bit better. Uh, but basically, you you want two of these. Um, you want two plus two. One needs spell trigger, and one ideally minion life, minion damage hybrid. Uh, oh yeah, shit. Uh, I also ended up using seat breaker for the life based version. Um, it doesn't really offer a whole lot, except maybe it's strength you need. It's got percent life, it doesn't have resist, but 
we do get a little bit of extra damage of um, some chaos damage uh, because I do believe chaos and burn will stack even though we don't really care, uh, do burn damage per se um, but we do more damage if they are ignited so yeah you can beef up the damage even more with one of these all right so so here is the live version um uh, some things i want to touch on so uh ravenous horde is what you want to al allocate uh, we can go down to Grey Pack a little bit later on. We do gray, uh, grab Righteous Decree a la bit later on. Get Deep Thoughts, like get all the ma good mana stuff. Um, this right here, Fearsome Force. Um, I didn't really notice uh, any bigger AoE on the explosions with this, so you don't really need this. Um, so you can put like whatever... Um, cluster jewel in here you want and do like whatever you, you feel fits you better but yeah uh, if the PUB tree looks a little bit different uh, this is in my opinion the final tree uh, it's got 160% life and 160% mana it's like kind of okay uh, oh, don't mind this uh, I don't actually know um, I just I just took like a random necromancer I had on the on the side there and started rebuilding it. <laughs> but yeah, so there you have it. Um, this diary is going to take me fucking hours to edit, so um, I'll see you later.